Hello, my name is Brian Ruiz. I'm the band director at Vail Middle School. I'm a percussionist and I'm going to be performing the Region 29 snare drum etude, measure 17 through 32. This is at Performance Temple, quarter note equals 120. This part of the etude is quite intricate, especially rhythmically, and so you'll want to take a look at every single measure and work on each measure at a time. It starts off very straightforward on measure 17 and 18 uh, with some 9-stroke rolls and a 17-stroke rolls. Remember, all of your rolls will be buzzed, and you'll most likely be judged uh, on the fundamental of buzz rolling. I want you to take note of measure 21, 22, as they do start piano, and those two measures must crescendo uh, where it's obvious and effective for the judges to hear. When you get to measures 23, there's a solid forte on these five stroke rolls. However, your three sixteenth note pickups into measure 25 need to start mezzo piano. You'll want to be very deliberate about your sticking choices. Uh, those three sixteenth notes, I would start with my left hand as I go into the first rhythm at 25. Ta te to one ta ta two te three. Ta te to one ta to two te three. Starting with the left hand. And then there's a nine stroke roll at the end. So again, mezzo piano. Starting at measure 23 will sound like this forte. And then we'll continue. 26 and 27 have some very similar rhythms. Ta te to one ta to two te three. So 27 is an exact copy of the pickups into measure 25. Only you'll be playing mezzo forte instead of mezzo piano. Once again, pickups into measure 29, the exact same rhythms. Ta te to one ta to two, or at least very similar. You'll be playing forte, and then the composer has chose to add some five stroke rolls to change it up a little bit. When you get to measure 30, you'll want to look at this measure because it starts with your one ta to two rhythm, and then there is a dotted quarter note as a roll. That is going to be a 13 stroke roll, and that will be six 16th notes that are buzzed. So measure 30 will sound like this, slowly. One more time. Measure 31, this rhythm again. One ta, ta two, te ta, ta te. And then when you get to measure 30, you're probably going to want to start a little bit softer so that way you can exaggerate the crescendo, 17 stroke roll. And it's okay to pop the end of that roll with an accent as long as it's not uh, too loud or too obnoxious. So um, the next time I'm going to perform this will be at quarter note equals 80. So that way this will be a good practice tempo for you uh, as you work it up to 120 so you can see better what my hands are doing. Starting at measure 17.
You'll notice that at that tempo, uh, the buzz rolls don't sound a whole lot buzz rolls, but that's because I'm uh, really trying to uh, exaggerate that they are quarter notes that are, excuse me, 16th notes that are buzzed. Okay. And that way you can kind of see what my hands are doing. Obviously when you get it up to 120, the buzz rolls will flow a lot more and sound more like sustained sound. So I wish you the best and uh, keep practicing.